feel right now that little sting any day of the week for the glory that we have had and the fun that we've had, the memories that we've created, the way we've played together. I would, I, I, this feeling right now that kind of stings, if somebody told me you're gonna feel that Pantel, you're gonna feel it, but this is what you're gonna get along the way, I'd say give it to me times 10. I'd take it any day of the week. No one guy wins a game. No one guy loses a game ever. It doesn't happen, it doesn't work that way. It's not the last out, it's not the this, it's not the that, it's not the pitch calling. Do not second guess yourself. The coaches, we're not gonna shoulda, woulda, coulda, we shoulda done this, we shoulda done, we did exactly what we shoulda done. Every single play, every single call, every single decision we made on pitches, running, hitting, subs, everything, I wouldn't change a thing. If I could have this all over and somebody said in this spot you could do this or in that, you could, I wouldn't change it because we made the right calls, we executed, and baseball's a crazy game. Those guys came out on top, okay? The pitching that you saw here from this distance is the equivalent of 95 plus mile per hour fastballs in the major league. Without a doubt, those guys were thrown in the 70s and you guys hung in there with them. This pitching distance, with that kind of pitching, it, will be, it won't be around in a couple years. The fields are changing for this reason. It's tough to hit that stuff. And you guys freaking battled. You guys battled. Uh, 10, 10, 10, okay? This is what, what I do sometimes in my life. Think about it. In 10 minutes, how are you gonna feel? In 10 months, how are you gonna feel? In 10 years, how are you gonna feel? And really think about this. In 10 minutes, it's still gonna suck. It's still gonna feel out. In 10 months, you're gonna look back and you go, that was so awesome, I had so much fun. And in 10 years, you're gonna be telling your family, your brothers, your sisters, whoever's in your family, that this was the best thing you ever went through. You're not gonna think about this feeling you have right now, you're only gonna think about the joy you had, the memories you created, and you guys have become studs because of this experience, okay? So you keep your chin up, you be proud of yourself, do not doubt yourself, don't second guess yourself. No one guy wins a game, no one guy loses a game, and I got your back forever. Okay, you guys are 14 strong. We love you guys. Okay, coaches, please talk to these guys, and then, and then I'll say something at the very end. We'll wait for these these guys to pass here. Okay. My turn. I mean, I'm just super proud to be a part of this, guys. It's um, it's something really special. I get emotional at these times because it's there just aren't that many opportunities like this in our lives to spend time with kids like you guys. The coach over there said to me after the game <clears throat> that we're the best team they've ever played. He went toe to toe for seven innings. The best team around. We earned their respect. And we played great baseball. We are great teammates to each other. And I'm just so proud to be part of it. Every one of you. I look around and I see something that every guy in this team did something great during this run. Maybe today wasn't your day, but every one of you did something great during this tournament. You had your moment. Remember that. Focus on the positive. Focus on how great an experience we had. Like Coach Scott said, in 10 months, we're going to look back on this, and it's going to be really positive. So I'm just really, really happy to be part of it. So thank you for that. Thank you, Lance. Thanks, Coach. 10 years, you know who you're going to be telling? You're going to be telling each other. That's what I love about this team. I'm telling you, that's exactly what I love about this team. You guys are such good friends. And to be part of that, and for you guys to allow this coaching staff to be part of that, amazing chemistry that you guys have is I, I, I will always be indebted to you. Uh, be privileged to be part of that um, and your privilege to be part of that dugout. Um, you guys bought in as a unit um, a few months ago when we talked about what we were going to do as a unit. Um, bought in. Everybody bought in. Thank you.
now, but please, please appreciate how much you guys have accomplished as a team. And, <coughs> and thank you very much for allowing me to be part of it, for allowing your coaching staff to be part of it. I, I love you guys dearly. I, I feel like, like you're close to a son to me, all of you. And, uh, and, and, I, and, I, and I just appreciate this summer. This was a great summer for me. Um, and that's it. That's all I got to say because I don't want to see you guys go on But I love you guys and uh, thank you for thank you for a great run. We really proud of you. Mm -hmm. Coach Wuffle. So uh, you boys know how lucky you are to have three men like this in your lives, right? It's uh, um, four. First of all, three and a half. First of all, you, you made an attorney cry. I've been trying to make him cry for years and I can't. So that that that's brilliant. Yeah, only the um, kids can. But do you know why he's crying? Because he's um, all three of these guys at times will think that they've let you down, or they haven't done enough, or they could have done something else, which are the same doubts that you all have. But you guys were a family. Um, these three men couldn't have done anything more, right? There's nothing more they could have done. And what you need to understand is that's how we all feel about you. There isn't a single hit or pitch or play that any of you could have done. You gave everything. Um, and I'm going to say a bad word in Park and Park I don't really swear. But you see those boys, turn around and look at them. Do you notice they look a little slimmer? Do you know why they look a little slimmer? Because you just scared seven shades of shit out of them. <laughs> Do you realize that? They were the most obnoxious, cocky sons of the guns ever and now you humbled them and that's amazing so these men should be an incredible um, inspiration to you when you coach your children whether they're boys or girls but you guys gave everything so after uh, coach Scott says something I'm gonna have you guys do something right now for the coaches with the coaches um, it'll take two minutes okay but you guys are loved and you love each other it was great when Lance started crying uh, Micah gave Jake a hug just here that I noticed. You boys, you boys did everything possible, okay? Um, but just be aware of how much these men, these uh, three men love you uh, and how much they care about you. And they have no doubts that you gave them everything the same way that you know they gave you everything. Does that make sense? Coach? Okay. <coughs> 
Your coaches have said it all. I mean, we've said it all, guys. Um, I, this is the fourth year I've been lucky enough to be your, be the manager of this team. And for some crazy reason, actually it's not crazy, I'm so thankful right now that I got to do this for four years and we went out this way. We didn't go out with an ugly game or something we should, should second guess. We went out playing perfect baseball. We played perfect baseball the entire way. And I'm just so thankful that I got to be one of your coaches for the last four years and we ended this way that I'm actually happy right now. I'm bummed we lost, I'm sad that we lost, but I'm so happy and thankful that I got to be a part of it. Never forget you guys. We're gonna have reunions, we're gonna see each other in 10 years like Coach does, and you're all gonna be buddies. And we're all gonna be the old coaches that used to do this and used to do that. These are memories nobody can ever take away from you. Okay? We're gonna have a team party, we'll break it down, we'll laugh, and we'll look back on this forever, and we'll know this is one of the best days of our life. This is one of the best summers of our life. It really was. I'm proud of you guys. And I love each and every one of you guys. Okay? All right, let's have the three coaches stand up. Everybody stand around the coaches in a huddle. Three coaches closer together, closer together. Get around the huddle, boys, with your arms around each other, just like you three in the middle. Get, you're gonna have to go. get, get closer, probably back to back, so that you're facing everyone. Turn around. Turn around, Lance, so you're facing out. There we go. Closer huddle. Okay, listen. This, this is what you're gonna do. This is probably the worst. Yeah. Picture. Wait till I get to tell you to. Yeah. Listen, listen. Starting with, starting, ending with Luca. So uh, starting with Parker. Parker. I want you to tell the tell the team, the coaches, something that you're always going to remember about this team. And then once we're done, you know the OV huddle that you do before the game. You're going to do that around your coaches. So don't care. Your parents can wait. It's fine. So Parker, do you have something, or do you want to go to Matthew first? Go to Matthew. Oh, and First of all, you guys no. make. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, I want to go. Let's do the hook. <laughs> no, I want to go. No, you're going last. Yeah, I need to think. Wait. Come on, uh, Owen. Hi. Probably hi. Coach Lance throwing cheddar in the cages. <laughs> <laughs> Kai. Uh, Coach Scott. I mean, all the coaches like driving us to all the games and stuff. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta think about it. Some more. All right, adult. Um, I'd probably say when Coach Fentel like told my dad, "Are you gonna do the bo?" The thing <laughs> about when the bo. Yeah. <laughs> Micah Blake. Beating Huntington Valley four years in a row. Good boy. Our long talk about Matthew Wilson in the car today. <laughs> and I love how, how you're smart enough to not say that word. AJ? Uh, what? Getting to beat uh, Aliso Viejo in the section championships and taking that back, I guess. Brilliant. Say it. Um, how you guys always have our racks. Hold on, boys. Let me listen. I need to think about it. All right. How all you guys said that... We were all superstitious, but then it was really all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've known most of you guys for only like a couple months, but this is still the best yeah. chemistry team I've ever played on. Beating Elisa, pretty much two out nightmare. <laughs> Talking about Matthew's, <laughs> Talking about Matthew's oh, girlfriend. Yeah, I <laughs> 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 Matthew. Cole, do you have something? Jake, let's I give Cole a couple minutes. By the know. way, Stafford just made us all cry. My favorite was uh, when we did agility with Cole and the herd. <laughs> <laughs> I have another one, I have another one. I totally forgot. I have another one. What have you got, Cole? I got one. Who's got a memory? I do. Go! I do. Go. I do. Um, making fun of Matthew's all the time. Okay. Make a sound. Terrible curveball. Matthew Wilson. What about my cutter? When Jake farted in the car and it was lit, you better hit it and then you hit a bomb. Oh, I got another one. Okay. How Coach Pantel made me swing one handed off a tee. It was still the best hit you ever had. You got something cool? You don't have to, man. 
<laughs> How many pictures Mia posted of you during the All Star season? <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to do that. All right. So look, boys. Coaches. Give give the coaches. Coaches, do you want? No, we'll let them say it at the party. So give uh, get in the huddle and give them the OV huddle. Okay. Ready? Like you do before every game when you get together. Who? Yes. I want to get it. Coach Patel, right here. Get it. Coach Patel, right here. Get it. 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 Get